Peter Jones's name obviously comes up because of his success with Reggae Reggae Sauce. But there's a new dragon, Sarah Willingham, who's very experienced in the food and drink industry. So we'll certainly be looking towards her for opinions, without a doubt. Hello there. I'm Ben. And I'm Suyan. And we are pitching for £50,000 investment for a 20% stake in our Korean food company, Yogio. In 2009, I took a break from working in London and somehow ended up in a tiny little fishing town on the east coast of South Korea. Suyun's was one of the first friendly faces I saw. And after two amazing years together, we married and started planning the next step of our journey. After watching Ben fall in love with my mum's cooking, we decided to take our own brand of authentic homestyle cooking to the UK. We bought this trailer and hit the street of London. Now, at the beginning of this year, uh, Sue and I decided that we would launch the UK's first Korean cooking range. We have created five amazing products that cover the most popular flavours from Korean cuisine. The full range launched in Selfridges last Friday um, and in the last week we've secured listings with Fenwick's Food Hall, Whole Foods and we've just agreed listing with Ocado. We'd like you to pop up and try a little bit of the food if that's okay and then of course we welcome any questions. Okay. What have we got? So it's all finger food basically. Um, a pitch and a product with punch from husband and wife team Ben Anser and Su Yun Yu. Ooh, that is uh, spicy. They're seeking £50,000 in return for a 20% stake in their range of Korean cooking sauces. Cereal restaurateur Sarah Willingham wants to find out exactly what's on the menu. Hi, Ben. Hi, Sue. I'm Hi. Sarah. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Great pitch. Thanks a lot, guys. And great food. Oh, thank really, you. really good. Thank you. So, talk me through the street food. Is this what you serve? Yes. And that's yeah. it? It's always some form of grilled meat in one of your special yeah, sauces? Yeah, we do two types of dishes, basically. Uh, one is called bibimbap. It's a mixed rice bowl, so you have a, your choice of grilled meat, you have a bowl, bed of rice, five vegetables, the chilli sauce, you mix that all up before you eat it. What are you charging? Um, so, between five fifty and £7. OK. Portion. And what's a good day's trading then? Between six and seven hundred pounds a good day. So you can turn over six six hundred quid in a day. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Out of that van. Yeah. Wow. This has got a restaurant concept in it, actually, which is low cost, great price point, really mass market price point. Mm. So I, I'm really interested in that yeah. side of it because I think you start you do that your sources will follow. Healthy takings from the trailer have demonstrated a public appetite for Korean cuisine. Deborah Meaden is curious about the product's unusual name. Does it mean anything, yo, 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 yeah. yo? Yeah. yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo is an expression to uh, use to grab people's attention. In Korea, when you go to a restaurant and you sit down and if you want to order something and just shout Yogyo and then just walk oh, like, That's great. I hear it all the time. Yogyo, Yogyo, Yogyo. And it just felt, it just felt right. An attention-grabbing brand name can be a massive asset, assuming it can be properly protected. But Peter Jones believes he spotted an obvious flaw. I noticed on your products, you don't seem to have really protected the brand that you've launched. You didn't get Yogio.com, for example. Just yeah, wondered why. Yeah, I mean, we've trademarked Yogio. Um, the Yogio.com um, wasn't available when we started the business. So we went with um, .uk.com. It's that. And if I go Yogio.com, what do I get? It's just like a pizza delivery service, basically. I am a little bit concerned that there is another company that does food. It's a bit of confusion. 
Did you think about that at the time? Do you know what? I'm going to be totally honest with you. We thought of the name Yogi O. We uh, checked and it was, it was there. And then we went on holiday to the Philippines, came back and someone had bought it. So as you build your brand, you're just going to give them a, a lot of traffic to their site? Um, well, hopefully we'll be directing traffic to our own website. Um, but sometimes it just isn't possible to secure a .com. Where would the 50,000 be spent on? Basically, the next part of the strategy is that we really want to take the products to the supermarkets. Um, and to do that, we have a business model that involves teaming up with uh, manufacturers um, that actually produce the base ingredients for these products and can bottle them in our label. Should we achieve that, the potential for the brand and the business is absolutely huge. Ambitious plans for supermarket domination from Ben and Sue Yun. It's a journey that Source Supremo Peter Jones has been on before. I'm lucky enough to have lived this for years of my life with Levi. Publicly, I know how easy it looks, um, but I know the reality. Yeah, yeah And absolutely. it's going to be incredibly tough. I think you are not even a challenger brand, and you're really, really up against it. And you're up against it because when you start to scale and get bigger volume in a marketplace like this, you're going to have all of the larger players in the market looking at and seeing you as a potential risk. They will overly discount products and incentivize the supermarket chains to support a brand over another. A harsh lesson in the realities of the condiment business from Peter Jones. Will his words of warning have rung alarm bells elsewhere in the den? I quite like the brand. I quite like the space. I think Peter's picked up on what I do see as a big issue, which is you're going to find your margins are going to be really, really squeezed yeah, as you we, try to yeah, go into we, the bigger yeah. players. So I won't be investing. I'm out. Whenever I invest, I always ask myself, what could I bring to the party to add value? Mm. As far as the product's concerned and my knowledge, I think there are better dragons who could really help you. So on that basis, guys, I love you dearly, but I'm out. Warm words, but cold comfort for our entrepreneurs as Tuka Suleiman joined Deborah Meaden in declining the deal. Will the dragon who banked £120 million from selling his own online business prevent this fusion of East and West from going south? It's not ideal that you don't have the .com or the .co.uk. It's not ideal. But you can overcome this. You can shove it up with paid-for search. But I think for all the reasons that, uh, for all the reasons that both Deborah and Peter have said, it, 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 there's a, a, an inherent risk. So f for that reason, I think this is a punt, certainly. But I think it's, it's a reasonably priced punt. Um, so I'm going to make you an offer. I would certainly be willing to put up half the money for 10%. A wholly unanticipated offer for half the cash. That's £25,000 for Ben and Sue Yun. Will the woman who's built her fortune on a passion for food and drink be willing to match or even better it? I can't lose this restaurant thing. I know obviously that's my... Yeah. I've, I've opened so many restaurants in my life that it is a part of my DNA now. But there is not a great Korean street kitchen out there. You walk through the door, people shout Yogi-O to you. <laughs> I mean, it's like a really 
cool, great Nando's. I mean, it's... I'm super excited about that. I'm going to make you an offer. And I'm going to offer you all the money for 25% of the business. Thank you. Okay, thank you. It's a compelling offer from Sarah Willingham. But the shadow of one of the den's greatest success stories and the dragon who helped engineer it continue to loom large. I'd rather pick up dog poo without gloves than invest in a business that is going to be in restaurants. This is far too early. To make this into a business, it, this, this for me is not where it's at. It's developing a brand that everybody is going to, at a consumer level, buy into that's, and I mean, enjoy. That's what it's all about. For and that's the future. Mm. We're not expecting someone to take this on and run it for us. And we really will, will be pushing it. And if there is a chance for it to succeed, uh, it will do. I, I have no doubt, but I would not underestimate what success looks like in trying to take a business like this forward. Mm. And I think it's going to be incredibly tough. I'm going to offer you all of the money but I'm going to ask you for 40% of the company. Ben and Su Yun were prepared to give away just 20%. Sarah Willingham wants 25%, whilst Peter Jones is asking for 40. And the two dragons have very different visions of the business's future. Nick Jenkins has tabled an offer for half the cash and 10% equity, but it would require another dragon to match it. The entrepreneurs now face a tough choice. Do you mind if we take a Yeah, little of course. Minute? Have a chat. Thank you. Cheers. <sighs> Could do 33 and a third percent equal for his name. Sam, Sam, Sam. Yeah. Sam, Sam, Sam. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, okay, so I suppose it's a question with Peter. Um, Forty percent, obviously, is you know, it's a, it's that's a big chunk. Would you consider the beginning on an equal footing of thirty-three and a third percent each? We feel that that would be a really, really positive way to begin a relationship. Um, I think there are times where you've got to stick hard and be a dragon, mm -hmm. and then there are times where you need to do the right thing. I would be more than happy to, for us to be equal partners, a third, a third, a third, if that's something that will close the deal with you now. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that a yeah? You'd like to take the deal? <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Well done. Fantastic. Brilliant. Wow. Brilliant. Really happy. Thank well you. done. Thank you. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, we couldn't have asked for anything more, you know. That's Yogi O! Yogi O! Yogi O! Watch this space because I'm going to open a fabulous chain of Korean street kitchens. <laughs> ben and Su Yun have done it. They leave with £50,000 and a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to transform their homemade hot sauces into a multinational brand. Really a tough decision between Sarah and yes. Peter. Yes. But we did pitch the sauces, and, you know, that's 100% yeah. what Peter Jones is all about. You've done an incredible job. You. We wanted Peter. And the fact that Peter Jones is actually a partner in our fledgling business is insane. 